What's going on? It is geeking time. Heading over to Toys R Us. Today's a very special video. It's the first time I do something like this. Do a toy hunt today for my birthday. This is gonna be really fun. Starting off my day right with some bubble tea or boba. So that's good stuff. Let's get into it, guys. All right, made it. We're at Toys R Us. You can see in the background. Let's get in there and start the toy hunt. See what they have. I don't know what they have in there, but we'll see. Maybe looking for a Luchasaurus from AEW, or maybe All Might from My Hero Academia. But let's get right into there. So the first thing I see here, guys, is this whole Space Jam display. Pretty, pretty cool from the new movie. Looking forward to that. That's cool. So let's see what else we can find in here. What did you find? Hey. No, no, I don't want Spider-Man balloons for my birthday. <laughs> you can put those back. <laughs> only one. I, I want the Curious George, that's what I want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's gonna be for my future child, whether Vanessa agrees or not. Holy shit. Did you see this? That's the Wild Force Megazord. That's insane. $64 on special from E. Yeah, I'm not dropping that kind of cash, but if you guys are interested, that's really fucking cool. <laughs> this is something you've seen on my channel before. And look, they have Chewbacca right next to him. This is cool though. I like that. The Hulk, Spider-Man, and Thanos. Maybe I'm gonna see if I can find a Thanos to go with my other uh, Marvel set that I have at home. They still make Blue's Clues? I had no idea. Huh. That's cool. How very, very random. Yet fitting. Love it. <laughs> I like this. Would you kill me if I bought this? Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, I'll put it back. Found the cool My Little Ponies. Oh, we got some retro runs there. I want to show them right over here. They got some board game ones. And now Ghostbusters. That's really cool. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick myself up one of these ponies. Rows and rows and rows of Hot Wheels. More rows of Hot Wheels. Greatest Hot Wheel ever. It's a Rock'em Sock'em robot. Check that out. Best Hot Wheel ever. Don't know what I would do with this, but I would want this. It's so cool. Jurassic Park. Overload. So cool. Well. No Luchasaurus, but there is the AEW world title. A little upset with WWE right now, but... Hey, they got Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, so that's cool. I want these so badly. These are cool. Really cool. Uh, there's the multiverse, and they have Batman Beyond, which is really cool. Go, go, Power Rangers and Zio. I want to buy all these toys, but I don't have the money to afford everything. Where was the Masters of the Universe toys when I was a kid? And yo, what's with all these Funkos? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> My favorite. And that's what killed me if I bought more guys in the figures though. So cool though! So we just lost Toys R Us, I got all my stuff here, show that quickly. And uh, once we get back home, we'll do the stuff that I picked up. Wasn't a lot, but I'll show you guys. And I'm back home. You know, I should probably take this thing off since we're not in the store anymore. Much better. So, you guys wanna know what I picked up? Let me talk about a little bit of stuff first. So when we were in Toys R Us, I wanted to film a lot more in there. There were so many cool things. I mean, at one point, we were in the little people section, and Vanessa was fawning over them, and I, got, I thought I got that on camera, but I didn't got a couple of photos. Um, but there were so many people looking, and like the store clerks weren't having any of it. Like, every time I filmed something, I could feel them, and I could see them coming towards me. So I don't know what it was. It was just a really busy Saturday, and. Uh, I wanted to film so much more, but I couldn't, and I really apologize for that. I hope you enjoyed that portion of the toy hunt. Now, with that being said, I got a couple of things, four things, and I'm actually really happy and satisfied with what I, with what I got. Um, two of them I've got for myself, and two items Vanessa got me for my birthday, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys too. Um, before we get into that, 
before we get into the haul that I got for my birthday, after I drank my uh, bubble tea boba, we went to McDonald's and got the uh, vanilla chai frappe. Two dollars. Be prepared to drink some water afterwards. So when I went there, I went and I picked up a figure from the brand new movie, Space Jam A New Legacy, and I believe it's Sylvester inside, so I'm really, really happy to have this. But Boomer, Happy Meal toys are for kids. Don't you know that? You do know who you're talking to, right? I am a big kid. But I bet you anything this movie's gonna suck. Why are you buying stupid things like that from McDonald's? Because I can. That's why. Oh, good point. Continue with your video. Thank you. Picked up a Happy Meal toy from McDonald's from Space Jam and New Legacy. Why the hell not? Let's just open up a camera. Blanca's here with me. Is this guy open? This is cool. Uh, I remember having some of these toys when I was a kid. I don't remember if it was McDonald's or if it was somewhere else, but I do remember having Happy Meal toys or at least fast food restaurant toys of Space Jam. And I also had a whole bunch of toys, so this would be a whole bunch of toys, so this would be Alright, so, let's get this out of the way. Oh yes, just like when I was a kid. The instructions for the toy. Uh, first things first, that really fell out. We've got Tweety Bird on, on top of basketball. I wonder if he's going to get squished. And then, we have Double Bagged. Let's free him from his secondary bag. There we go. So how do we do this now? So it seems that if I look at the instructions, I'm supposed to put Tweety on him, press the button in the back and it's gonna spin. Let's try it out. Got that on there. Let's see what happens. Ho 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 ho! Ho 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 ho! <laughs> That's cool. So Sylvester is basically spinning the ball. That's pretty cool. There's the Sylvester Happy Meal toy from Toon Squad, Space Jam New Legacy. You guys interested in seeing that movie? I'm really excited. All right, so there you go. A little parched right now. Actually, no, not parched. Like, all that stuff that I drank, Makes it thirsty. We're getting to my haul. First things first, I got this for my birthday. This is the Blockbuster Party Game. A movie game for anyone who has ever seen a movie. This looks super fun. I can't wait to try this out. Um, it seems like it comes with a buzzer, a stand. Sorry, I should show you this. It's a buzzer, a stand, a board, and cards. It's a trivia game and charades which is really awesome. 200 movies to win and collect. Man, that's really cool. Takes two AA, bat AAA batteries, sorry. I think what we should do with this, we should do an unboxing. What do you guys think? I'll unbox the Blockbuster game. This is gonna be fun to do. After the G.I. Joe opening, we're gonna unbox the, uh, this game. That'll be fun. My beautiful fiance, got me a really awesome birthday present. Been wanting this since I heard about it last year. Came out in February, and I know I'm a little late to getting it, but I'm not just gonna willingly drop 80 bucks Canadian on a video game just like that. Um, we usually get these kind of things on special occasions, so she got it for me for my birthday. So finally, I finally received Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Super happy to have this game. I don't think I'll ever find the Amiibos to go with it, but that's all right. Uh, that's what it looks like on the inside. Chip. I am super excited to play this. I kind of want to, you know what? I, I actually don't want to play this by myself. I really want to play this with her. And even my nephew and my niece who have the game. Well, now that Uncle Boomer has the game, we, got, we can play together. We can play Super Mario 3D World together. All right, so what I got from Toys R Us. Got, I don't know if you saw it really quickly at the end of the haul, at the end when I left Toys R Us. Uh, but the first thing I got was, sorry, is Itsuku Midoriya from 
My Hero Academia by McFarlane Toys. Now, no, these are not the bigger scale model ones, the um, ultimate, I guess you could call it, action figure that come with all the uh, interchangeable uh, parts. No, this is more the smaller 5 inch scale, but you know what? The detail is ridiculous. It's a really nice detail figure for a lower value figure. It's really cool. Um, you see that you can get the 12 inch uh, Todoroki. Uh, you can get Bakugo's uh, Gauntlets, I guess you want to call them. And then there's the 5 inch. So, yeah, a really cool figure. I think I paid like uh, 10 or 11 dollars for him. Uh, and if it's the only My Hero Academia figure that I get, then that's fine. I wanted to get All Might, but I wasn't super impressed with it. I was actually really impressed with Deku the most, and uh, I've been binging My Hero Academia recently, and I love this show. I recently bought My Hero One's Justice, the first game, so just started playing it the other day, and it's a uh, fun, really fun game. Uh, and finally, the last thing I got at Toys R Us, I got this because I needed this for my collection. So far on my Power Ranger wall back there, I've got Gold Zeo, I got Red Zeo, and I got Blue Zeo. Still missing yellow and pink, I don't know when they're coming out, but hey, at least, and it was the last one in store too, I was so happy about that. Got Adam, the green Zeo Ranger by the Lightning Collection. Super excited to have this. Um, I like, I really like the Lightning Collection, they're doing really cool things with the Power Rangers figures, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Zeo. After Mighty Morphin, my second favorite is Zeo. So, and again, like the Blue Ranger that you saw me show off before last time when I got the, uh, when I did the Amazon uh, bought unboxing. It's a really cool figure. I love it. This paint paint job is really nice on here. Uh, comes with his two, uh, his two uh, weapons. As you can see more detailed on the back here. So I'm really excited to add this to the wall back there. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got from Toys R Us. So out of these two figures. Which one do you guys think is the coolest? Um, I mean, I love them both. And it's really cool that Adam is actually, the actor who plays Adam, Johnny Young Bush, is an anime uh, voice actor. I don't think he voices anybody in My Hero Academia, but he voices a character in Demon Slayer. He voices a lot of famous characters. So hey, it goes hand in hand at the moment if you think about it. And let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the Blockbuster Party Game Night unboxing video. Can I go home now? So that's it for me today. Got the lighting on going on, a little parched. That was my birthday haul. Let me know what you guys thought. What item was your favorite? I mean, <laughs> I really like that Sylvester. I, this thing is really cool. This is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> Anyways, I will be coming back soon. As promised, with the G.I. Joe figure openings, they're all in this Dollar Tree bag and they are going to be open as my next video. I reached 300 subs. I think I'm a little over now. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you so much for everybody who subscribed. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Let's get to 350. Hopefully we can get there. I got one of the uh, figures I ordered from Amazon, one of the Godzilla figures. Just waiting for the next one to come in, which is going to be very soon, I believe. Stick around for all the goodness. And as always, guys, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Laters!